In this video, we're going to take a look at how you would go about classifying your exponential functions as either an exponential growth or an exponential decay. Now, two things. Um, this actually is a really simple thing as long as you have two things memorized. In this first scenario, if the base is greater than 1 in your exponential function, then you've got exponential growth. So the key is looking at that base and determining if it's greater than 1. The second thing to memorize is if that base falls in between 0 and 1, then that exponential function is going to be an exponential decay. So really it's just a matter of having that memorized and knowing exactly where to look for that base to know whether you've got exponential growth or exponential decay. So in this first example right here, I've got 4 times the quantity 0.89 raised to the x power, exponential function, the base, the only part that is the base is that 0.89 right there. 0.89 falls in between 0 and 1, so this one is a decay problem. Looking at the second example, again I have a 1 third out here, but that's not the base. The base is the 1.06 raised to the x power, that is a base greater than 1, so this is an exponential growth problem. Looking at the third example here again, the 5 has no bearing in it, you're going to look right here because that 1.25 is the base, the x is the exponent there, and again, that base is greater than 1, so this is an exponential growth. And this last example, all right, the 25, has no bearing on it because the base to the x is the fraction two-fifths. Two-fifths is a fraction in between zero and one. So then this last one is a decay problem. So really, just a really simple concept. As long as you have these two facts memorized, then identifying those exponential functions as either a growth or a decay problem should be relatively simple. Definitely thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.